Ready to take a travel test? Well, our travel expert, Tammy Levin, is back to put us to the test, and we hope you play along as well. So we can all learn some valuable travel tips. But before we get to the quiz, looks like you've already won a quiz here. At least you've already won an award. I know. I'm really excited. I got this this morning, and you're the first people to share with it. No one else knows. Not even in my office, they don't <laughs> even know. Isn't that awesome? So this is important to me because sometimes you win awards for your numbers in your business and all the things you do. But this one is a little different because it's the Extra Mile Award. And it's from the um, American Society of Travel Agents, which is your big, big guys. Yeah. And I was a runner up. There was three of us. So they all said, you know, you are all amazing. So we all won. But um, yeah, well, congratulations. Saving someone's life helps in travel. There you go. Uh, there That's you why go. you call a travel agent. There you go. That's well, what I that was a fun. And I know you are swamped these days and getting plenty of phone calls. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what to do in case of a hurricane and what not to do and, and your trip preparation. And we'll do that. I know it's, it's in there are true or false question. Okay, okay. So here we go. As she said, true or false. So I'm going to be reading these here. True. First question, true or false. Booking a vacation ahead rather than last minute will save you money. That's absolutely 3,000% true. Uh, and the reason that you're able, that is true, right? I was going to say that is true, yes. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I wrote true on that. A lot of people have this misconception. Yes, that was true years ago but it's not true anymore. They have this misconception that if I book way, uh, like last, last minute, minute yeah. two minute, two weeks out, then I'm gonna get the best deal. It's because you have to understand that the airlines, first of all, have condensed their air. Have you noticed you get on a flight, you used to be able to do half full plane, now you get on, it's completely full, yeah. because they're rearranging to make sure that they pick up people along the way. So if you're going, let's say, to Tampa, to Detroit, you may have gone a direct flight. Now they're doing Tampa, Atlanta, Detroit to make sure we pick up more people along the way. So that's the problem. It's not that it's costing you, it's gonna cost you more last minute because there won't be any seats left. So you're saying wait or don't wait? Oh, absolutely. Do not wait the last okay. minute. Book ahead of time. We can also do land ahead of time where you give a small deposit and we have a deal that of course price match guarantee. And if the rates go lower, we will lower them for you. So you can't lose out. I mean, okay. it's... Okay, okay. I'll say that's, I a one that. That, that's a big one for me that I was wondering about. Okay, true or false? Here's the hurricane one. During a hurricane, airlines and hotels will always accommodate to move you or refund your money. False. False. <laughs> <laughs> I have people calling me because we have a lot of clients. We have over a quarter million uh, clients at our agency. And I have people traveling right this moment through all these hurricane situations. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? The airline will only do it 24 hours prior at no cost. Or if you're stranded, like people were trying to get mm -hmm. back. I was in Greece. I was stranded in Amsterdam. They just rerouted me to get back into to, to my home. But they will not refund you. They will not cancel your trip, neither would a hotel. They'll just make arrangements and move things around. So it's really important that you get insurance. We've talked about travel insurance, mm -hmm. and travel insurance will protect you if you want your money back. Other than that, you have to wait till they give the warning. So right now, uh, Punta Cana was still allowing flights. They just stopped allowing flights because of the situation with Hurricane Mary, Maria. Mm -hmm. But you cannot make that change until they make that call. So if you call the airline three days ago to make the change, it's going to cost you money. Okay. See, gotta, say, you didn't know that. Uh, no, no. We got, and I hate it because we've got to roll through these. It, uh, it is less to book on an online site rather than with someone like Tammy and a travel agent. Well, when they first came out, of course it was because they hooked you. Now, <laughs> now they got you by that tail and they're going to play with you the whole time. So, no, it is not cheaper. We have a price match guarantee. Most travel agents do. But honestly, I put them to the test of the time and we're always cheaper. Good Always. to know. I'm going to hold that one, too. And finally, when booking airlines, lately you will notice that it will state airport check-in. Does that mean I don't have a seat assignment? No. That means that the airlines are playing games for more money. That's exactly yes. what that means. So what they're doing is they're saying airport check-in. You have a family of five, and you're like, oh, my God, what do I do? You have to go online, and guess what's available? Oh, here's a $30 per person seat one way. They want you to pay for the seats. The airline holds back about 30 seats that they keep for themselves, and then they'll give you airport check-in if you don't want to pay, and you'll be scattered all over the plane. Okay, there we go. Breaking it all down <laughs> once again. Tammy Levin, our travel expert. Of course, she has a contest to hook up our viewers. Tammy, what is it and how can people get in touch with you? Well, we are drawing. It's coming near December 31st. Make sure that you enter. Right now, we have over 25,000 entries. So make sure you do have a chance to win our six trips that we're giving away, $36,000 value.